Look, I got enemies, got a lot of enemies, got a lot of people trying to drain me of my energy. Hey guys, News Now California, out in the state of Nebraska. I am at the Buffalo County Government Center, which is located in a town called Kearney, Nebraska. That's with a K. Kearney, Nebraska. And here at the Buffalo County Government Center, there is also other facilities. The DHHS facility of Buffalo County. And behind me is the Buffalo County Justice Center. And look at this. Look at this very, very, very unusual sign. Hmm. Let's see, something here. What's this? Freemasons. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, Freemasons. I've heard of them. I think I need to look them up. Yep, that's what I need to do. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a big buffalo. This is what we have because it's named for a buffalo. Buffalo County. So this must be the state, uh, the state animal. Hey, good morning. Hey, what's up with the buffalo? I know it's Buffalo County. Is it just because it's named that they did? Or does this have anything to do with the state, like a state animal? Nothing, just for them. It's it, uh, yeah, this has been a symbol of Buffalo County since before they built this place. This place, yeah, I could tell by the dates. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's a beautiful state. I'm just passing through, doing some videos. You, you're a government employee? Uh, I'm an attorney. Okay, I won't hold that against you. What <laughs> yeah. kind of litigation you do? Um, uh, today, it's uh, civil defense. Civil. Yeah. So you're out here, uh, you probably are one of the better earners in the smaller community. I mean, professional and so forth, so. You're always busy? I am very busy. All right, well, a lot of bad stuff happening out there. There's plenty of, there's plenty of, All right. of uh, people getting in trouble. Okay, well, I'm not gonna move here because that will happen to me, and I'm very short. I don't want to get beat up. <laughs> well, they're not bad people. They just get in trouble. I know, I know, I know. Nice talking to you. Yep. Hey, good morning. morning. How are you, sir? Very good. Very good to hear. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Hey, uh, I'm from out of state. I'm curious. Uh, I, I go. Out, I, I do a video tour, so don't let the camera in make you nervous. But what is the tax rate out here? As far as for real property. For real property. Yeah, like you're going to sell a home. Like where I come from, it's based upon the sale of a home. It's like one and a quarter percent. Is it nothing like that out here? No. Really. You, so how do people pay taxes? What's it based on when you buy a home? 
based on the assessed value, the assessor's office can explain the process to you down there. How oh, they okay. The what do you guys do here then? We collect the tax after the assessor certifies it. Okay, collect the tax. Where's the assessor? Two offices to the north. Just straight down that hall? Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Is your camera on? Is my camera on? Yeah. yeah, my camera's on. So you're recording this? Right, I'm recording this, uh-huh. And, and why are you recording it? Well, I explained to your colleague. You didn't hear me? No. Yeah, I said that uh, I do video tours. I go around the state. Right. Right. You and need I, to I, identify I, that you're recording here. I need to identify what? That you're recording. You can't just... Re start recording people without their knowledge. Well, first of all, let me, uh, I appreciate your opinion, but let me educate you on a couple things. Touch the button. We'll have the sheriff's office come over and he can, we can be clear on the law for both of us. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. So when I came in, I explained to this lady that I do video, video tours. I'm going to cross and filming. And what I do is I, sometimes I film uh, random places. Sometimes specifically I film uh, government facilities, so people that are homebound, that are in other states. Would you point that away? I'm very uncomfortable. You're just talking now. Please point that away. Now, do you understand you're a public official and yeah. I'm in a public place? I have every legal right to do this. People have privacy protection. There's no people here. There's and everybody's protection. in public here, ma'am. We're going to stop what? until, we'll take our seats until the sheriff. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. And I'm happy I'm not running. I'm right here for the sheriffs. Yeah, I do, I, I do this. I know what I'm doing, ma'am. Don't lie, ma'am. What did I tell you? You did not say you were currently recording. You said I don't need to tell you I'm currently recording. We said the opposite, but let's not talk to him anymore. Yeah. There's no reason for me to say that, ma'am. I don't not need your permission to film in a public area. It's a First Amendment, right? And when the officers come, I'm sure they'll educate you. And hopefully you'll apologize to me because it's making your town not look good. Wow, why are you running? We, we uh, press the button. This gentleman has come with his camera and is recording, but we have no idea who he is or why he's doing this. And so we thought we'd better call you and see what maybe you can help us handle this situation. So why are you filming them? Well, first of all, I explained why I'm filming them. Okay. And they tell me that I don't have a right to record them unless I tell them I'm recording them. And I explained that I am in a publicly accessible area mm -hmm. and anything I can see from public, I can film. And I do not need any public officials uh, that my tax dollars or your tax dollars pay for to tell me I need their permission to film. So I'm just asking you, so why I just are you told filming you. them? I mean, be, be, for what reason? I explained to them. I go around and I film public agencies to make sure uh, that some people who can never travel can see what these facilities provide for smaller communities, mm -hmm. larger communities, maybe they're homebound. And it's, pub it's a public information story. Okay. But the issue is... I'm cordial to you right now. Right. I have no reason to even talk to you other than you please educate them that what I'm doing is perfectly legal and to leave me alone. Okay. I'm not here for any ill will or no, any not. ill intent. The issue is... I didn't come in here to create havoc, to stop business, but when they step it up, uh, is it Officer Byrne? Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. My name's Phil. Sure. When they step it up and say, I have to have their permission to record them, and that I didn't ask them, they're elevating it to an issue that you're coming, I'm seeing you run, I'm going, oh my God, what is this? They're pushing it, everybody's, everybody's afraid of a camera. They need to be educated, Officer Byrne, and I'm not gonna leave here until I videotape that, you explaining that to them, that what I'm doing is perfectly legal. I'll have my lieutenant do that. It's, bring them over. 9-8-9-0-9-2-2. There was no reason to get to this point we're at. Oh. And I've explained it to you too, Officer mm -hmm. Byrne. Why isn't it 
why, why don't you nip it in the bud now and w we go our ways? Yeah. Well, some people aren't, uh, they don't like to be filmed. I understand, you know? but unfortunately, their feelings does not trump my right to record in public. Sure. Are you done filming or? No, I'm waiting for the lieutenant to educate because you okay. said you're not we'll going to. Step out here then. No, I, 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 I'm okay standing here. I don't, I don't need to move. Okay. I don't need to move. Thank you, though. Mm -hmm. Specialty to depart at 1000. Attention, get to my son, EMS, BLS, transport, Carney to Omaha, to depart at 1000. Nine, say it to the guard shack. Officer Byrne, you're familiar? You, you're, you're quite knowledgeable about filming in public? Do you have a courthouse deputy that can 1054 county attorney's office? We had a dress warrant. What's that? You, you, you're, uh, what I explained to you mm -hmm. about the right to record in public, anything you can see, you have a right to record. Anything you can see. As long as I'm not going into a secure area mm -hmm. or gated where I'm not allowed to be, but wherever the public is allowed to be, Officer Byrne, I'm allowed to be. Okay. Okay? So I don't understand why you can't just educate. Just like I'm saying, a lot of, a lot of people don't like to be on camera. I'm just telling you that. We've done, we've discussed that. I understand that. I understand that. Yeah. They don't like to. But if they don't like to, they shouldn't be telling me things that are wrong. They, they shouldn't be telling me I have to ask them to record first. They may not like it. I'm not sure on my end of it if you're able to film these people. That's why I'm asking you're for not one of my... You're not aware of that? No. Yeah, this, well, let me, let me just clarify it. Well, what it, you it, clarify it, to me is what, that's your belief. But I'm going to check to see what, how, how, by law, if you're able you, to do you, that. You're not aware about uh, the right to record in public? You well, never... I think you have the Fifth Amendment or whatever it is. You no, know, it's The right not... to speak or... That type of That's thing. the First Amendment. The First Amendment. Right, right. That's the First Amendment, not okay. the Fifth. So how long will it be, you think, for the lieutenant to come? Mm, probably a couple minutes. Okay, so. that's fine. We're busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you got better things to do than a guy with a camera. Come on. You see my demeanor. No. But, things uh, change. You know. Listen, it's okay if people want to feel the way they want to feel. People are going to feel the way they want to feel. What's this? There's cameras everywhere. There's cameras everywhere we go. I'm coming in. I'm doing a public interest story about this community and what this facility offers. I explained that. Mm -hmm. I explained that to you. And I explained it to both of them. Mm -hmm. okay. And here we are. Yeah. Here we are. Yep. It's the way the world is anymore, isn't it? It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that I need their permission. I have to tell them before I record them. Mm -hmm. It's total, total BS. Oh, yeah. This isn't my first rodeo. I do this a lot. Mm -hmm. I deal with law enforcement almost on an every other day basis. Probably, just for this reason. Uh, <laughs> Yep. Okay. So it's an education process, number pretty much. one. Yeah. Not pretty much, it is. You know, so. I mean, I'm hoping when the lieutenant comes, mm -hmm. he'll explain what I've explained to you, because I'm, if I have to do it four times, you can explain my sure. words to him. I'm going to do you want to walk around? We'll go over to the corny courthouse area. You can see that area, too. Well, I'm, I'm going to hang here until this is done. Because he's made a call, you made a call to come here, okay. right? So I don't want to go to a different location. Because if we went to a different location, what would you do? Would you notify them that we've left? Mm -hmm. I'll just let them know where we went. Yeah, I'd like to handle it here, because uh, when it's handled elsewhere, there's going to be no closure here with me here. Oh. I want closure with this with me here. Yeah, well. That's we can, why we're we can make the closure over there too. It doesn't matter. No, the, the point whole is, building the, is the, the, together. It has to do with the employees. I want closure with the employees. Employees need to be recorded with what the officers are going to do at the end. Okay. Yeah, we. You know, had we not even got to this point, I would have been out of here. But to press an emergency, and I'm seeing you run down the hall. I got the last end of it. I'm thinking, man, oh man, you must be winded. And I don't know what they're calling for. Well, I wasn't winded, but yeah. Okay. Well, I take it back. You weren't winded. No. But, uh... Doesn't matter. It was stress. A needed stress. On their end. Good. On their yes. end. So, uh, yeah. The lieutenant is a, uh, I thought you said a court, uh, 
just a, a, a well county courts over on the other okay, side okay but There's would they a, send a lieutenant because they know it's a rank if he's above. here i don't know if he's here yet so hmm. so yeah it's good that uh now maybe you take that uh what i've expressed about we all have a right to record in public. Once you leave your house, you have no expectation of privacy. If I wanted to stand in front of your house on a sidewalk and film through a living room, it's perfectly legal. Weird. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it because it's odd, right? Right. Well, the only thing is, is you've gotten your your video of whatever you wanted to get here, so there's no reason why you can't go on and go on to your next. I explained. Mm -hmm. These these ladies need to be educated. Well, and I'm gonna. I want to record it. Them getting educated so the public can understand that this is not how you act. Yeah. The sad thing is, I explained to them exactly what I'm doing, mm -hmm. and my answer was not good enough because it had not. The issue of what I'm doing here that wasn't the issue with them. The issue with them was I didn't ask them permission to record in here. Yeah. That's their issue. And they don't, you know, I'm, I'm sorry they feel that way. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry they feel that way. But uh, they're, they can feel whatever they want. But what I'm doing, I'm not breaking the law. You know, there's mm -hmm. no way that when the lieutenant comes, you guys are gonna stop me from recording anywhere I can go that's publicly accessible. There's, I mean, unless, Everybody here doesn't understand the First Amendment. I have a right to record in a government facility as long as I don't go into a secure area. As long as I stay in lobbies, hallways, and corridors that are open to the public, I can film anything I can see. And it's just not in this state. It's the first, we all have that First Amendment of freedom. This is what this is, this is freedom. And that's a sad thing. I explained everything mm -hmm. to them, and it wasn't good enough. It was well. You have to, you have to ask our permission. Is that on? I, I told her when I came in. I said, "Hey, I do video recordings. Don't let the camera, you know, throw you off." And I wasn't even pointed. I mean, I'm not gonna. I could show you the video, but you can see when I'm talking to her. When I walk up, this camera wasn't even. When I walked in, this camera was going to the wall the whole time. I kept it accounted. And then mm -hmm. when the lady in the back got involved, that's when it all went to shit. County Attorney's Office, go ahead. That's where. Correction, County Treasurer, hallway. Advice data. I have a 10-12 if you're refusing to leave. He's going in the Treasurer's office. Wait a minute. Refusing to leave, you asked me. You didn't tell me. That's that. Well, shame on you. You can leave. Shame on you. That's the well, same nobody thing. wants you here. Nobody wants you to video them. Well, you got your little video, then now you're telling you can them leave. I'm a refusing. Are you ordering me to leave? Well, or are you asking did, me? They did you guys ask him to leave, ma'am? This ma is hilarious. Did you guys ask him to leave? Pardon? Did you guys ask him to leave? I don't believe we asked him to leave. We just okay. said we don't know why you're filming us. Okay, uh, ma'am. I, I, I did explain to two people. Why I'm filming, the issue of why I'm filming you is not the issue. The no, issue I became that, ma'am, may I finish and then you can speak. I was cordial to you. Let me finish and then you can talk. It's just the way humans are. I explained to her and that wasn't good enough. The issue is I didn't ask permission to record you. That's the issue, not why I'm doing it because I explained to both your colleagues why and it wasn't good enough. Their issue is I never got permission from them. I don't need permission now. I don't need, you're a government employee. I'm in a publicly accessible area. Photography is allowed in here. There's no law that I'm breaking now. Officer, is there somebody coming over? Yes. Help us? Yeah, okay. Well, you got your little video, now I'm asking you to leave. Right, you've asked me and I respectfully decline until, unless you're ordering me. Well, I have told you that you can now leave. Right, but that's, are you, uh, it's simple. Officer Byrne, mm -hmm. it's a simple answer. Are you ordering me to yes, leave? Yes, I'm going to ask you to leave. The You're premises. ordering me to leave the premises yes. for recording in public. Okay, let me. I, I got it. I got okay. it. All right. Now you're telling I'm me. I'm being cordial to you. I'm just asking. No, no, no. You to you're leave. Give, no. You, you're making no. You people... can't. You can't say right now you asked me. You just told me you ordered. Now you're saying you're asking. You can't do one or the other. Sir, you can leave, please. What are you doing? 
You just said you're I'm ordering. asking you, and I'm also telling you that you can leave. Okay, then I'm respectfully de uh, declining if you're asking okay, me. Okay, that's fine. So I've asked you to leave. Right, you asked me. You, you are and not. I've also told you you can leave. You, you, so you right, can you leave. told me I can, but you're not ordering me to. Say, I am ordering you to leave. Tell me that, and I'll leave. Tell me that right I'm now. I'm ordering you to leave. Okay. For publicly, photographer, you're ordering me to leave. Okay. 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 Right. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait right here. That's fine. Who, who, who's your supervisor? What's the person's name, please? And why do you need that? Because I'm going to make a complaint about you. You're violating a constitutional protected activity. Mm -hmm. And you're, you weren't even aware of it. You're talking about the Fifth Amendment. You're talking now about ordering me to leave a government facility that I have a legal right to be in here. You're, gonna, you're, you're, you're making a big mistake, I'm okay, telling you. Now why don't you let me finish talking? Well, you just I interrupted. You, I wasn't done talking. You're making them feel uncomfortable. Right, we went through that. that. We went through that. that okay. ha their feelings have nothing to do with what's, what's legal. Mm -hmm. I could care less now about their feelings, okay? You've said it four times. Okay. And yeah, I keep. You have that right, right? I have that right. Okay. Yeah, but you don't seem to know it because you've ordered me to leave. Because you're making them feel uncomfortable. They don't want you to film them. Do you, do, you, do you understand how this conversation is going, Officer Byrne? It's yeah, like you keep you, making it go round and round. No, 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 because you're not taking it in. You're not taking it in. You, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, what you're doing to me is illegal. Okay. And you're not aware of it. You can That's ask fine. me to leave, and I can respectfully decline, because this is open to the public. And what you could do is you could respectfully leave and then maybe set it up at a time. I don't need anybody's permission to set up oh. anything. Well, that's just being cordial too, isn't you it? You know what? I can see how you've turned. You don't, you don't, you're, you're very uneducated. You're an uneducated officer. When I'm telling you about the right, a First Amendment, and you're saying it's a Fifth Amendment, you're telling me to leave this facility where I have a perfectly legal right to be. I'm telling you, you're making a big mistake for your career doing this. Officer, can I call somebody else? They're Thank coming. you. You know who's coming? Yes. Okay. Okay. Somebody's in row. Okay. Hello. Hi. So apparently now you're telling me to leave, but I haven't left, but you're happy that I'm just not recording them. Is that it? Is that it? What's that? Is that it? You're telling me to, you ordered me to leave the facility. And we, we, we haven't left the facility. So I'm assuming as long as I'm not recording them, you're good with that. And I don't have to leave the facility? Is that what you're telling me now? That's whatever you want to make of it, sir. Wow, you're really, really unprofessional on how you're handling this. I'm not going to play your games. What game? What game? What you're doing. What right. game is it? I'll just wait. You've been asked to leave, and you won't leave. I don't have to leave if you ask me to leave. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. I can respectfully decline to leave. There's no reason I should leave. Okay. There's no reason I have to leave. I've already told you you're making them feel uncomfortable, and they don't. And that's want to a be reason found. to make somebody leave a building that they're uncomfortable when somebody's doing a protected legal activity. I have a right to do this. I don't, I, you know, so you're just saying, oh, look, they're, they're upset because they don't like to be on camera. You need to leave. Mm -hmm. That's, that's what you're saying. Okay. That's the whole reason. And I'm telling you that I have a legal right to record that. That's fine. And even though they're upset, because they're upset, you're telling me I need to leave because they're upset. They don't like me recording, so you're telling me to leave a government facility. How you doing, fellas? Good, how are you? I was doing good. Well, he came up and was filming the treasurer's office, and they didn't like it, and they didn't know why he was filming them. He's saying that he explained to me what he was doing. I'll talk to you. What's going on? What's your name? Nick Alexander. Nice to meet you, Phil. Nick. Okay. Are you over her? Uh, she works in the jail division, so. Very uneducated. Very uneducated, Nick. Okay. Uh, so I go around, I record in public. 
I go to government facilities. Some people are homebound. They can see what facilities do for the public. This is another, what's your name? My Dave name, Gibbs. Dave, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What do you guys go by, officer? Oh, Deputy Sheriff. And Sarge. You, you, all right, who's the Sarge, you? That's me. So as I was ex explaining, as I go around and I film in public, I go to uh, agencies, government facilities, people, some people are homebound, they can see what the facilities offer. Uh, the communities talk about, you know, I do other random things, maybe talk about the population, if there's any industry, so on and so forth. So I come in here, it's a tax dollar, so paying for this, mm -hmm. open to the public, and I walk up to that window there, and I walk up in the counters here, and uh, at this point, you know, I don't, I don't go in and I'm not doing this to you. That's Are not you my making a documentary? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. I, I, that's what I do. I just go out and record. So I go in and I put the camera at an angle. Nobody's facing anybody. And I said, hey, I, and I told them what I'm doing. I haven't met you. You're another one? What's your name? Joe Anderson. Joe, nice to meet you. Phil. Yeah. I said, hey, don't let the camera, don't let the camera. I, I'm going around and making yeah, a let's video. Let's get out of people's way here. Video, uh, videos on public agencies. Mm -hmm. And I said, I, had, I, had, I have business in here. I asked him, I said, what is your tax base in here? What do you mean? I said, well, when you buy a home, is it, is it based on a tax? Like in other states, they, you guys, I didn't know this, but she says, no, 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 it has nothing to do. It's when it's, it's bought or sold, it, it's the assessment. She says, just go down to the assessor's office. She says, two, two doors or windows down to the north. I said, this way? She says, yeah. And then the woman in the back lost it. It went all south. She says, are you, are you, are you recording us? And she just went ape shit. I said, yes, I am, ma'am. She And then she just says, well, you need our permission to record us. And I, I mean, the whole conversation is cordial. I'm not going off. I'm, you know, I'm older than you guys, probably. I know how to, my demeanor, you know, mm -hmm. how to act. I'm not a bad person. I'm not here to impede business. I'm not in here to waste taxpayers' resources for you guys to come out here. Mm -hmm. And I'm not in here to get these people nervous. Mm -hmm. So she just went off, and I, I explained to her. I said, ma'am, I have, this is a... Uh, open to the public. Mm -hmm. You're a public employee. Tax dollars pay for this. There's no expectation of privacy. You're in public. Right. Right. And then they just went off on me, and then they hit a panic alarm. I, I and, and and I told two of them what I was doing, mm -hmm. just like I explained what I'm doing, what I'm doing, mm -hmm. and it wasn't good enough. The issue isn't. Listen, guys. The issue isn't what I'm doing. It's their issue is that they don't want to be on camera. No, no, no. No, no, let, let me back up because you're, you're this office deputy. Right. Very, very uneducated. Here, here's what, here, let me give you some advice, okay? Before here's, you do that, let me finish and then I'll okay. shut up and you can talk the okay. rest. Because it's very important. She came running down the hallway. They pushed the button. I explained to her what I'm doing. And she says, well, you're making them feel, they don't like you. They don't like you filming, so leave the building. I said, I'm sorry, their feelings don't trump my right to record, mm -hmm. okay? I don't need to leave. Mm -hmm. She says, well, I'm asking you to leave. And I, she sa I said, well, are you asking me or are you ordering me? She says, well, I'm asking you. And I said, well, I respectfully decline. Now, if you're ordering me for doing a protected legal activity because their feelings feel they can trump my First Amendment right, mm -hmm. then you're making a big career mistake ordering me to leave this building. She says, I'm ordering you to leave the building. I said, wow. So here we are because their feelings hurt. The officer's whole thing is I need to stop recording them because they're of their feelings and their feelings don't trump my right. Okay. All right. So go ahead. Okay. Probably the best thing to do, people come in here all the time and film. Okay. Probably the best thing to do is make an appointment. Okay, mm -hmm. and just say, hey, I want to know more about this, and you're mm -hmm. probably going to get way more cooperation that way. Oh, I'm sure, okay. uh, I'm sure, it's, Sergeant, it's if I did it that way. Because there is people that come in here and right. do cause ruckus, okay? They don't know you, and when you're doing this to them, and... Yeah, doing what to them? Videotaping them. You're not doing anything illegal, okay? But you come in here uninvited, and you didn't make an appointment, and, and are you, if you're here doing business, that's one thing, but if you're here just recording people, that does make them uneasy, and they don't know who you are. Okay, I'm not saying you did anything wrong at all. Okay, I'm just saying if you want to come here and make a documentary, make an appointment, call the, the county officials and say, hey, here's my name, here's my phone number. I'd like to know more information about this. People do that all the time. 
Okay, but when you don't do the normal channels like this, it makes people uneasy because they don't know if you're, if you're uh, someone trying to harm them. They don't have any idea. Okay, and when and people, and government officials get scared all the time because there's people that come in here and do weird things and act funny a lot. Okay, and that's all. That's all they're trying to do is they're just trying to protect themselves. It's not that they don't want to be filmed. Okay. That's the whole. It, well, I'm not going to interrupt until you're done. They're, Tell they're, me when you're done. They're, they're filmed I'll... all the time. They, people come in here and do documentaries. There's college kids, high school kids that come in here, take pictures. Okay, but there's other people in the public writing out checks, doing court uh, business, and they may not want to be on camera. Okay, so if you could just make an appointment, you'd probably get a lot more results that way. Okay, so we're not saying you did anything wrong. We're just saying if you want to do this, there's a better way to do it. That's all. Okay, you're okay. done now? Yeah, you have okay. any other questions? Okay. Yeah, no, I've got some statements to make. First of all, sure. you say go through the normal channel. The normal channel to me is I don't need to ask permission, number one, number for a protected legal activity. Uh, I understand what you're saying. Sure. I, 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 if you, your goal is to let, make let a documentary, finish. Finish. let me finish. You, you told me not to talk. Let me finish. You told me not to talk. So it's my turn, then you can talk. That's how you told me to do it. So I'm doing a protected legal activity. You said that their issue is coming in and not knowing who I am or what I'm doing. I explained to you before that that is not the issue because I explained to them very, very good mm -hmm. what I was doing and why I was doing it. And the issue then became not what I'm doing, but them being on camera because I didn't say, hey, I'm recording you. That is the issue. So what you told me is, is it's in one ear out that. That's not the issue. Okay, You're well, incorrect. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry you don't see it the way I did. You know, How can I see it? I, How, I was here. Okay. Yeah, you were here and I wasn't. Right. So, maybe, so maybe you got a better perspective on No, things. I have the perfect okay. perspective. Okay. I'm not out here to see all you guys and put me into jail for doing something. <laughs> You're not gonna go to jail. No, I, no, 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 no. What I'm saying is when I come in here, I know that. I know what I'm doing, okay? okay? I know I'm not breaking the law. Although you told me twice, thank you for telling me that, but you didn't even have to tell me that. If I was breaking the law, we wouldn't even be here now, okay? okay. These women and this uh, jail or uh, woman who came up, her whole issue with me was that it's all about their feelings. Everything is based on feelings. She's telling me I have to leave the building because of their feelings. Their feelings are they do not want me recording them. That is why she was telling me I need to leave the building. It's all based on feelings. That's what it's based on. The whole thing is based on feelings. They do not want me recording them because of their feelings. And I explained they're public officials. I have a right to record in public. I came from the other, I'm doing business. I came in there, asked for information. They told me where to go, and I was on my way out, and as I'm walking out, she asks, are you recording us? And that's where it went south. Everything was good un until she says, are you recording? So everything is based on feelings. I hear what you're saying. I, hear, I took in everything you're saying. What, what do you want, I guess? What, what do you want from us? Well, I would like you to educate them that I have a right to film in public and that their feelings, they shouldn't, their feelings don't trump my right to record. They should be educated. So if somebody else comes in here, they're not hitting a panic button. That's what I would ask all you officers to do is educate them. I'm out of here. And uh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll forward this up to my chain of command. And so you're not going to do it now? I'm not going to go talk to an elected official. No, I will go talk to my administration and then they can talk to them. That's how that works. Okay, and, and you're, uh, the, these employees in here are elected officials, all no. of these women? No. So then, but you said you're not gonna talk to elected officials. They talk, they work for an elected official. But you can't go directly to them then? They, they can go to their boss and I will go to my boss and then the Oh, boss that's how it talk. works. You can't go to like a county, different facility? Well, they're, they're, they work for an elected official and I work for an elected official. I understand, okay? I understand that. And so the proper, way, the, the, the proper way to do this would be to let my administration know, and they can let their administration know, and then the two elected officials can talk. Okay, okay. Uh, so we're gonna end this pretty quick. I have a question for you. Uh, what I explained to you about being able to film in a, a public area 
the tax dollars pay for. I don't go into any secure areas. I'm staying in a hallway, lobby, corridor, and I go in and I, I can record in public. You're aware of that or you're not aware of that? Absolutely aware of that. We're not saying you did anything wrong. I, okay. dude, you, you've told me that four times. I've already told you I know I'm not. Okay. No, I wanted to make sure you, you guys you are aware. You keep asking me questions, and I, I think you're, I don't know if you're trying to bait me into something. Or bait what. you? No, no. You're How not doing I? anything wrong, and I've explained that to you. Right, but I just wanted, right. Okay. I didn't say I did. I just wanted to make sure that you guys understand you have a perfectly and legal right to, that. to, and to that okay, but you just don't want to, you just don't want to talk to them. Uh, because they're county. What about the uh, sheriff, or not the sheriff, the woman I dealt with, uh, uh, Burns? Okay. She, she doesn't work for you. Uh, you're different. Is that right? She works for the sheriff's office, but under a different division. Okay, so there's nothing you could discuss with her? No. Okay, so all I'm going to ask you, please, please, just think about what I'm saying. I'm not here to bait you, man. I'm not here to bait okay, you. I'm a good, questions. Well, let me finish. So I'm, trying to, I'm just trying to understand where well, you're coming you, from. I, I, I'm, I'm ask, you're saying I'm asking you questions over and over, but you've told me four or five times I'm not doing anything illegal. So I guess it works both ways. Right. I would just hope that somebody could educate that officer too, that she can't tell, order me out of a building because of somebody's feelings they don't want to be recorded. Okay. Okay? And so sure. can I, you guys got business cards on yeah. you? Can I okay. get your name? Uh, my name's Phil. I gave you my name. Did you get his name? I did not. Phil, P-H-I-L. What's your last name, Phil? Oh, you don't need my last name. Okay. You Good. want our business card? What's that? You want our business card? Can I have your information? Are you saying you're going to refuse a business card if I don't give you my Here's information? My card, Phil. Is that what you're saying? In fact, I'll give you my business card, but can I have your information? I gave you my name. That's good What's enough. your last name, Phil? Do you have any warrants for your arrest or anything? Do you? I'm asking you. Do you have any warrants for your arrest? You have a business card? Yeah, or Yeah, most of your stuff. You think you're going to hem me up now? Is that where you're going? No. I'm not trying to get you in trouble. Oh, no. You're asking me if I got warrants. What is that? Come on. Man. Thank you. Joseph. And you're the sergeant? I'm the sergeant. That's okay. correct. All right. So, uh... I'm going to follow up with the supervisor. What's the supervisor's name that I'm going to follow up on this? For what, which office are you talking about? Well, you're going to, you, you said you have to go, protocol is you have to go to your supervisor. Right. Who is that that I'm going to follow up? I'll let Captain Anderson know. Captain Anderson? Mm -hmm. A-N-D-E-R-S-O-N? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, I, I can tell, I deal, I deal with law enforcement. And unfortunately, uh, I can tell that uh, if you're the seasoned guy, I feel, I feel bad for these guys, man. I, I really do. And with that... Why would that be? These are good guys. I, no, I, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You're, not, you're not picking up. If you're the seasoned guy, I feel bad for these guys because they're under you and you're training them. And the way you're handling it now, okay. very unprofessional. Okay. Get a better leader. All right. Don't ask me if I got any warrants. All right, duly noted. All right, gentlemen. All right, thank you. Thank you. I'll be following up with uh, Lieutenant uh, Anderson. Very good. And uh, that'll take approximately what? A week, two weeks? Uh, you could call and talk to him right now. Yeah, call our phone numbers are on the back of those cards. Mm -hmm. You can call and ask to speak to Captain Anderson. Captain yeah. Anderson? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Right. Have a good day. You too. So there you have it Buffalo County Justice Center. Uh, total bullshit that they are not going to uh, admonish that officer for kicking me out of a government facility. Buffalo County. Wow. Good luck living here the way these fucking cops operated. What a joke. He's not going to admonish. He's going to go through his captain because he's a fucking chump. Yeah, that was not good.
Buffalo County Government Center in Kearney. I think these bitches are gonna try to follow me. That's what I think. Do I have any warrants? What the fuck? Do you have any warrants? The fucker, man. See, you can tell how these fucks operate. Here he is. I knew they're following me. Yeah, he'll be back. Motherfuckers following me now because I can't go to my car.